the high school level, last year South Doyle and Central played twice. South Doyle won in the regular season to win the region title. Central won in the playoffs on the way to the state title. Pick it up first quarter, 3-0 South Doyle. Central's defense coming up big. Ball loose. It's recovered by Mark Adams Jr. for a touchdown. Bobcats take a 7-3 lead. Moving ahead, Central with the ball again. And this time, it's Ryan Bolton looking down the field, trying to find a man, but Tyquan Stewart picks it off and gives South Doyle the ball back. A long run from Sean Gary puts the Cherokees on the goal line early in the second quarter. Noah Myers cashing in, takes it into the end zone, and that put the Cherokees up 10-7. Central making up for that turnover. Bolton looking for and finding Deontay White, who finds the end zone to give Central the lead. That made it 14 to 10 and then Central on their own end zone. Bolton hands it off. Shannon Mills tackled for a South Doyle safety. That was 14 12 going into the locker room out of the gate. Special teams coming up big for the Bobcats widening the score gap and then in the fourth here is Liam Fortner in the Wildcat runs it in putting Central up 27 19 an interception by Caleb Fortner seals the deal for Central. 27-19, handing South Doyle their first region loss. Coach Craney after the game. It's good to be in control of your own destiny, and and uh, when we and we felt that way at the beginning of the week, even coming off of a Hall's loss, uh, that you know we still we still have control of our own destiny as far as the playoffs go, um, and, and you know that has been the story here that we may lose a couple and we may be down, but we're never never out. Uh, and, uh, and and our kids just fight. They just fight, and and they finished really well today. I'm super proud of them. Central will need to beat Gibbs next week to seal their fate as region, cha region champs.